Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Zard here and we have some absolutely insane news today. If you guys don't know, recently, well, I'm sure you guys know the whole fucking bullshit drama that's been going on for like the longest time with um Chris Tyson from Mr. Breeze, who was originally a man, transitioned to a woman, started saying uh they're called Ava now. Honestly, I'm not even gonna fucking get into that bullshit. I'm probably gonna call it an it and a them or a fucking whatever majigger because i if i if i call it a if i call it a, a she uh the fucking a bunch of people anti-trans people are gonna be mad at me if i call it a if i call it a fucking a dude i'm a, i'm i'm gonna have all the trans people pissed at me you know so i'm just gonna fence it this one i don't drop my opinions on those types of things you see that's the thing i don't touch on this channel i don't touch the trans community they're just like a nuclear bomb. It doesn't matter if you agree with them or not. It's a nuclear bomb. But we're not going to even talk about that. What we're going to talk about is Chris Tyson being exposed. Recently, if you don't know, he's been getting in a lot of dramas lately with like Nick Merckx and shit on um, Twitter over like should trans flags and uh, education be in schools. Nick Merckx said no. They get in a big old argument on Twitter. Call she It calls... Nick Merck's a big... I don't even know what to fucking call this thing at this point, dude. I honestly don't fucking care. So he called Nick Merck's a, a bigot, all that crap. Just fucking completely... They have a total back and forth. And then this guy, actually a pretty small YouTuber, um, Aadrox, with only 10, uh, 10k subs, roughly. Go check out this guy's channel, by the way. Always gotta support the fellow small YouTubers. Go check out this guy's original video. It is really well made. But recently, Chris Tyson got exposed because he has a pretty fucking freaky ass past apparently like some pretty freaky shit and a lot of people feel very betrayed because they defended this this person for so long against all the hate he got for transitioning and still being on mr beast and all that shit just for him to be the freak everybody was saying he was well a lot like half the mr beast people were calling him a freak half the like people were like defending him now the half of that were defending him were like damn we were defending this freak the whole fucking time and it's just, it's just a crazy situation. It's just an absolutely crazy situation. So I'm going to stop yapping and actually play the video that is exposing him for all this shit. He or she or sh what, whatever it is, I'm not, I'm not getting into it. Whatever it is, did. It's some crazy fucking shit. Leave a like and subscribe. I'm not going to go too crazy on the plugs because I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. In this video, I want everyone to understand two things. First of all, is the drawings. The Japanese manga that is explicit and involves cartoon characters. It's focused on characters and plots depicting underage girls. Now, I think it's clear enough for anyone to understand what it means if a real person draws or likes drawings. The second thing is, I will not make up anything or accuse anyone. I will only show some disgusting and unbelievable things Chris has done, along with proof. But now you're probably thinking, what in the world does Chris have to do with all this? To say the least, you're wrong and right at the same time. However, there's a very sketchy personality involved in this story, also known as Shadman. Okay, so whenever Shadman, if you have any relations in history to Shadman and you're still on YouTube, you need to get the fuck off YouTube, bro. You need to get off YouTube. And clearly this man, Chris, has had some connections to this dude Shadman. And if you don't know who Shadman is, I'm sure he's going to get into it, but I'll just tell you too right now just in case he doesn't go super in depth. This guy for the longest time was just getting away with just putting some foul lolly content on Twitter, just like some absolutely disgusting shit. And the fact that Chris Tyson is even loosely connected to this dude is just fucking gross. And the fact that Mr. Beast even affiliates with him after this shit would just appall me. It would actually appall me if mr b still affiliated with chris after getting caught fucking being friends and totally supporting a hentai lolly artist who explicitly drawed like openly under the age of 10 uh little girls fucking gross fucking gross and mr b still correlates with this dude i'm fucking i, I don't know if i'll fuck with you mr beast if you do i'll probably still watch your videos because i got skibbity brain rot but shit Man was a normal guy until he decided to attend an art university in Switzerland to pursue his passion for art. Sounds like a similar origin story to something I've heard before. Some of his artwork was discovered to be illegal. 
even considered a danger to society. But something more extreme was about to happen. He launched his own website, and that's when his talented artwork came to light. In 2011, he did a very disgusting and unexpected thing. He released part of his own mother. What the As fuck? I didn't hear about this one. Hold on, I heard about him drawing art of like little girls, but his own mom? Okay, dude. Okay, bro. What the fuck? This is so nasty. Okay, let's. Dude, he didn't stop there. Someone will tweet on November 8th, 2016. Okay, I'm gonna start skimming through this now, guys, because you guys get the, the baseline shit. Um, you guys get the baseline shit. I'm gonna start skimming through this, getting to the important parts, because I don't wanna just sit here and react and steal this whole dude's whole video. I almost did, like, I was about to because it's a shorter video, but at the same time, like, I, I just don't really fuck with those types of reaction videos. But I'm going to skim through this, give you guys a summary real quick. Just, just, you guys are here for the quick summary anyways. You guys don't want all that bullshit. Basically, uh, Shadman, this guy made art of Keemstar's seven-year-old daughter at the time, uh, giving Trump a, a BJ. That's also say. And then uh, the little girl from Logan Wolverine, he made a bunch of hentai about her when she was 12, which is also gross. And now let's get to the freaky shit that Chris is getting lumped into. Chris Tyson saying under a tweet saying this is okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. 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 So there's a, the tweet. Chris from Mr. Beast tweet out. This is coming from the guy who owns a at Shad base drawing and has it as the centerpiece in his living room. And for the, for the TikTok viewers and shit, a shad based drawing is a lolly hentai of a little girl. Just to let you guys know, okay? So next time you defend Chris, I'm not, I'm not, I don't fucking hate trans people or anything. But next time you defend Chris, just think about how you're defending a dude that's super into lolly hentai, who like, who is at open, used to be openly attracted to children on Twitter. So let's get to some, I'm going to cut to some of the other like really gross tweets. Oh yeah, here we go. Yep. So he said in another tweet here, no beast boy trap, Shad, you've changed. Basically saying to Shad, man, bro, why didn't you make any um, transgender freaky beast boy hentai for me? And I'll have, I'll have the guy who made this video talk more about it for you guys so you get a little bit of a better understanding. Uh, like I said, I'm still kind of skimming because I don't want to just straight up steal this guy's content. Saying, no Beast Boy trap, Shad? You've changed. Basically, Ava was asking Shadman to draw art of Beast Boy. As Beast Boy was shown at different ages in the show. We can't say anything for certain, but that doesn't mean the tweet wasn't strange. Though we definitely can't say the same. Okay, this is the real foul one, guys. This is the really fucking gross one. This is like the... At first, I was like, okay, this is kind of freaky. I don't know if this is enough for a video yet, though. But this was what pushed me over the edge. This tweet from fucking Chris Tyson. Tweet. On January 17th, 2018. This is really fucking gross. tweeted saying, Remember this growing up? Me too. Check it out at Chadbase. Featuring a photo of the four-year-old cartoon character, Caillou, with his mother. Obviously, this is so we know Shadbase is a website with very this disgusting shit, mm. content involving children and comic book characters. And the tweet clearly referenced that. But instead of opposing it, Chris joined in and replied, Help, I need an adult. I don't think there's any need to explain how crazy this stuff is. This shit actually makes me sick to my stomach, bro. This shit actually makes me sick to my stomach. And a lot of the viewers who defended Chris Tyson are having a similar reaction. Like, this is just foul. What makes this even worse... Is this guy or this girl, this whatever you want to call it, has a fucking child, dude. He has a child. How old is his kid, I wonder? How old is Chris Tyson's son? Let's see. So he's born. He's a four-year-old. How old is Caillou? And how old is Caillou? How old is Caillou? Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, bro. So, Chris Tyson has been caught fucking right here saying freaky shit under a Caillou hentai of him fucking getting freaky with his mother saying, help, I need an adult under a hentai post. A lolly hentai post of Caillou by Shadman. And this guy now has a fucking 
four-year-old son. Same age as... This is just fucking gross. This guy needs his kid taken. I'm not even going to cap take this dude's kid away. If this is true, if this is true... Well, I mean, it is true. We're looking at it. What the fuck am I talking about? What the fuck? Okay, let's read some of the comments on this shit. Oh, I, as you can see, I already put sick. Someone says, that's actually horrible. Make sure Mr. B sees this, please. Please. Yeah, Chris is disgusting. Yep. Calling real life children lollies is a clear sign. Oh, yeah. Fucking, he called a real life child a lolly too. The fact someone got ratioed for tweeting Chris ruined the family. Serious. This is fucking disgusting, dude. I hope Chris's ex-wife or whatever, the mother of his child sees this shit. I don't know if she was aware of this shit he was tweeting out, but it's just foul. Let's see some of the responses on Twitter. A, fan, a friend of Mr. Beast, at Chris Tyson, is a degenerate and alleged lollycon. It's not alleged. It's not fucking alleged, bro. There's open. There's tweets that he openly posted. It's fucking disgusting. At Mr. Beast, get this fucking freak off your team. I agree. Oh, the, here's another fucking post. This is... So fucking Shadman posted a pic, uh, lollycon hentai drawing of... Uh, Dipper and I think the girls Maple from Gravity Falls getting fucking freaky with each other. Two little kids, by the way. And Chris Tyson from Mr. B says they're twins. At this point, it's just masturbation, right? Like, bro, like, uh, oh, like on that on it that on that tweet, that tweet by itself, just that by itself could be admissible like you could maybe like make a case for it's just dark humor but this guy has also commented on a bunch of other lolly hentais asking for giving recommendations and there's also a clip hold on there's also a clip let me try and go back to the video and find it real quick let's see if i can skim through and see it where's that shit where's that shit oh yeah here's another fucking one of those freaky ass tweets of his i think it's right here yep um, under the little girl from Incredibles, a post from that. I Let's see what Chris has to say friends. about the little girl from Incredibles. Let's see how old that girl from Incredibles is. How old is she? How old is the girl from Incredibles? No, not Incre Incredibles. No, 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 no. I, for I forgot her fucking name. Is that it? She's 14. Awesome. Okay, Chris, you're disgusting, dude. This is fucking gross. Oh my god, Chris Tyson is getting exposed for lolly. What the fuck? I would have never expected this from something like from someone on the Mr. Beast crew. Get this freak off your team at Mr. Beast. Please do, bro. Please do. Like, I get it. Like, I get Mr. Beast supporting his friend as he decided to become a woman. Because, like, you no, know, personally, like, I have like, like my, like say my little brother, the person I consider my little brother did this, you know, whether I support it or not is irrelevant. I'm not going to bring it up in this video. I'm not getting into it. He's still like, I fucking known him for so long. So I can kind of understand Mr. Beast not dropping him. But after this shit comes out, fucking Mr. Beast should absolutely drop Chris from the team. And you know, what's a little concerning. Chris posted all these tweets publicly supporting lolly and publicly talking about liking lolly on twitter publicly and mr beast didn't drop him as a friend or as a person on his team for his videos this is public these tweets of chris fucking saying that 14 year old girls and fucking caillou caillou the four-year-old boy lolly hentai is like hot and shit is public and mr beast is still friends i mean I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. This like this honestly says a lot about Mr. Beast too. And honestly, you know, I think Mr. Beast is a smart guy and I think he's a, a generally a decent person. He might have a few skeletons in the closet, but I think he's a generally pretty good fucking guy. So if he really is the good guy he makes himself out to be, he should drop Chris as a friend and uh and on his fucking videos. This is just foul. This is foul, bro. Like I have nothing else to say. This is gross. Yeah, that's I hope you, I would say I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but there's no way you guys enjoyed seeing Chris Tyson go crazy for Lolly. I think his kid should be taken, you know, and it's not even for the trans shit. I don't even care if he chopped his dick off. I don't give a fuck. I really could care less if this dude chopped his dick off. He's openly talking about fucking indulging in Caillou Lolly hentai. So yeah, no, I'm good off that. I think he needs his kid taken and he should never be in a Mr. Beast video again. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.